hello friends welcome back today we will see how to create this dramatic ship landing scene using blender and nuke at first glance this shot might look very complex but trust me this will be very easy shot we don't have to do any big technical thing in this shot this is just following some simple ideas and let me explain that first we'll just focus on the ship how big it should appear and the landing speed and the camera framing lighting and total frame count this will be our primary goal for setting the foundation of the shot like once that's in a place we will move on the secondary elements like adding the background details and make the shot more uh, complex or bring the details like characters atmospheric effect and their depth and like more realism to this scene that will be our secondary plan but at first i'll just simply add the ship in the shot and then see how that looks and let's bring that in the shot i have downloaded this from cg traders long back i have purchased this one let's scale it i'm going to keep it two this is already rigged using the empty objects i just simply took few empties and placed it according to my need like on the thrusters and on the body somewhere on the cockpit and this one this this thing you can easily create now once i have this spaceship i will bring the camera to this shot now i have the camera and the ship in the shot let's add the ground i'll just simply take a plane and make it bigger for now so these are the main elements in the shot at this point and we will be focused on this element first and then we can add secondary elements like background or atmosphere and anything like that but just work on the animation of the spaceship and the camera and let's see how that looks and then do the rest of the things before i do anything i will tell why i use this scale for the spaceship because that is very important thing i'm using a box here as a human scale size as a reference so i just googled it that six feet is equal to 1.8 meters so i will make this box 1.8 meters as a reference for the human scale so i'll just simply make it 1.8 and make it point 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 by so this is the reference for human height and then according to that i have set this height like if i just put it in the cockpit you can see that this will be like a human size so this is perfect i'm going to keep it as a human scale size reference let's keep it somewhere here and okay so now we have the camera the object and the human scale reference let's animate the spaceship first okay before animating the spaceship i'm going to set the project like the framing and the uh, frame length i will use 204 right and 850 like some more like this and my frame range will be 1 to 500 because short is if the spaceship is landing very quickly then that will look like it's less in the weight so to make it feel like it's more heavy or like to bring the cinematic feel or to bring the dramatic feel i'm going to keep it like almost 500 frames and then that might look good i just added some keys and go to the frame 400 and add the keys Let's go to the first frame and move it up. C, Z, and then put a key. So now let's simply see it. Let's animate it quite better. Now it's just linear. I want to make it, it will come to the ground and then it, and it slows down here somewhere around these frames and then lands slowly on the ground. So to do that, I'll just add one more keyframe like around this frame. I'll take it more to the ground. Let's view this from the camera angle and bring it here. And just add a key and then see how that looks. Okay, that comes fast and then it slows down and then lands. Okay, and then 100 frames just to add that at most in the end or something like that because I don't want to keep it landing till the end frame, just keep 100 frame extra so that, so that you can add some extra second element in the shot to make it uh, more dramatic now i will simply animate the camera roughly i'll keep this frame 400 as is so let's lock this frame and go to the first frame and look at the spaceship you can just add an empty and connect your camera by using the constraint and all that but i'm not going to do that because i want to keep the shot look more organic and i don't want that camera is tracking the spaceship or the ship very properly so just try to keep it more organic i'll simply move it manually here like select the camera and now i'll just rotate 
and try to look at the spaceship so this frame this is set here let's see how that looks now our camera is almost following the spaceship and this is what i want that it is not we really connected to the ship body that sometimes ship goes up and down in the camera framing and that is what exactly i want so around this frame this looks good but somewhere here it's getting out of the frame a bit more so to fix that i'll just add some keyframes like on 150 simply play with the x axis in the rotation and just give a key now i will go 100 frame like on frame 250 and adjust the x-axis again one more time here and give the key and then it lands okay that's sweet we'll keep it like that and then i have a plan that from here to here it looks static but we are going to add some camera shake in the compositing so that is fine okay that looks really good i wanted something like this and that looks good perfect now we have an animated camera and animated ship and the ground and the frame set. Let's make the folder structure properly and then go to the next point. Okay, now I have the folder structure that is camera, ship and the hangar. The ground is in the hangar, ship is in the ship and the camera. And look at the lighting setup. Now I'm using this skylight but in the short I'm not going to use this. So let's delete this one. I'm going to use an HDRI image in this short. We'll simply choose an environment texture and the image I have. I have this overcast cloudy image like HDR image. I'm going to use that one. So if I simply turn off the transparency of the film, you can see that I have this HDRI. So this is what I'm going to use this in the shot. This is like overcast, no harsh lighting or anything. This will be good for the shot. Let's keep the strength around 5. Okay, this is quite good. Now, I'll simply add some texture to the ground. Select the ground and take a principal BSDF. Now it's too bright. I'll just take down the color. I'll make it somewhat like this. I want to add some reflection and like wet ground feel. Take a noise to the roughness. I will directly view it from the noise texture here. I don't want principal PSDF at this moment. To read that, control shift and then noise texture. I'll use color ramp. If your node wrangler is enabled, then you can just simply press Ctrl T. You can get this mapping and texture coordinates. If it is not enabled, you can go to the preferences and just type node wrangler and make sure that this is turned on. Now I will just change the scale or you can change the scale from here as well. I'll make it 15. Something like this is fine. Let's view it from the camera. Okay, we are getting some kind of reflections and some non-reflective surface as well to adjust that you can just play with the noise and then it's just according to your taste or according to your story in the scene i'm just trying to keep it to make visually interesting i also can play with the size again and just make it 25 you can get more puddles changes here you can change the details as well let's make it denoise so we can we don't read that kind of noise while working also turn off these overlays I think something like this is quite good. I'm going to keep it, but we can change the settings later if we want. But I think this something like this is fine. It's too reflective at this point. I'm going to change. I'm going to tweak that. At this point, this is pitch black. That means it's too reflective. So just change that and make it quite grayish. So you can see that now the reflection is getting less reflective. By simply changing the color of this point, from black to gray you can see that it's already changing the reflection uh, values so i'll keep something like this because i want to read the reflection but it should not be like mirror or crystal clear so just keep it like that and this is fine now we have the camera we have the ground with the texture and now scene looks to lit from all the angles because our shot is open from all the angles i'll simply try to add a light blocker here by make one more folder i'll call it blocker and simply create a box i'll remove the top area select the face delete it i will extrude the faces press e and s to scale it down or inside so something like this is this will be our blocker now just view it from the camera here 
go to the object mode this is something i want i'll make it darker like concrete color or something somewhat like this and keep the roughness above this is not going to be seen in this shot but this is as a blocker because we are going to add some bg details and then this will be hidden it's just to block the light from all the angles we need to read the light only from the above so that's the reason we are using this with this solid object it's quite difficult to work so i'll simply go to the viewport display and make it bounce so we can see this wire framed but we are not reading that in the shot or it will be just a blocker for the scene let's quickly render this for one frame and see what difference that makes now with the blocker this is with the blocker and make it slot 2 and let's turn off the blocker and render it again now see the difference so we want this kind of shadowing and we now the light is not hitting from the sides only from the top that's the reason we are getting this kind of shadowing thing this is the simple idea never use your shot just like that use a blockers to block the light from all the angles and use only from the or uh, use only according to your story now in my idea or in my concept the light is from above and the bunker is too big and once we add all the details we are going to get the reflection and some bounce light on this ship as well and that is going to bring more complexity in the scene.